custom video and today we are going to be making some Louis Vuitton shoes. So the best part about this custom is that there's going to be no artistic skills needed. It can be done on any shoe and anybody can do it. And when I say anybody, I mean anybody like you in the black shirt talking to you. So you guys might be wondering how is this going to be done and the answer is D-Nice Custom Stencils. This entire shoe is going to be made with their stencils so if you guys are interested in checking out some of their other designs you can check out their inventory. They have a bunch of pre-made stencils like they got some Louis stencils, they got some Babe stencils, they got some Supreme stencils and they also have some really really cool hang tags as well. This is like every customizer's dream. If you guys don't see something that you like on the website you can even hit them up and ask them to make a custom stencil of your choice. That's gonna make your job like a lot easier, trust me. So I will have all the products that I use in the description below as well as a link to purchase those products. So feel free to check that out. But without further ado, let's go. See my days are cold without you. Alright guys, first things first, let's mix our colors. Nothing crazy this time, we're only going to need about three colors and they are our red color which is a mixture of red, chili red, and orange. The next two colors require no mixing and they are flat white and flat black. Once we've acetoned our shoe, we're going to move on to some more prep work. I'm going to go ahead and tape off the white part of the Vans logo just so we don't have to worry about getting paint on it later. You can easily cut the shape out using an X-Acto knife and following the indented outline. The next thing I'm going to do is remove a piece of fabric from the back of the shoe in order to lay the Supreme logo down later. So basically all that I did was pull the fabric back with my hands and use an X-Acto knife to cut the stitching. All right, so we're prepped and ready to paint. First things first, we're gonna lay down a couple coats of white before painting our surface red. This will allow the red to show more vividly with a fewer amount of coats. Let's get into applying our stencil. So the first thing we need to do is cut the stencil so it's a little bit easier to work with. We can do this by placing our stencil over the shoe and cutting around the area that it'll be applied to. Make sure the stencil fully covers that area with some excess room just in case. 
Now that we have our stencil trimmed down, we're gonna use our X-Acto knife to pick out pieces of our LV pattern. We're gonna pick out all the pieces that we wanna be white so that we can spray over them later. Next up is laying over our transfer paper. This is gonna allow us to place the pattern on the shoe cleanly, evenly, and without any distortion to the stencil. Lay the stencil face down and start to peel the backing off. If you secured the stencil down and squeezed out all the air bubbles, the backing should come off nice and clean. This is the most crucial part of your custom. When you peel off the transfer paper, the stencil should stick to your shoe. However, you're going to need to peel it off very slowly and use an X-Acto knife to secure down any pieces that are still stuck to the transfer paper. If any pieces do come off with the paper, the pattern won't be accurate. <laughs> The next thing I'm going to do is airbrush flat white over our stencil. This part can 100% be done with a paintbrush, but if you have an airbrush laying around, I definitely recommend it. Mm -hmm. 